Hey guys, I'm Rachel O'Leary and I'm making this video just to uh, sort of let you guys in on what's been going on around here. Um, follow me on Instagram or subscribed and saw on my community tab. There's been a couple crises in my family. Um, as you guys know, I had my knee replaced May 1st and have been in recovery from that and been having a lot of complications, um, all of which are still pretty pretty bad, uh, which resulted in my husband taking care of my fish room for me for the past few months. Um, the doctors say it'll be about four months still until I'm likely to be back to a good working order, but for right now it's still pretty bad. Um, last Thursday, my daughter, um, we were talking and, and it came out that she was really severely depressed and needed urgent help. Um, in order to maintain her safety. So in Pennsylvania, the age of consent for mental health care is 14. So I took her to a crisis center where she checked herself into an adolescent inpatient facility. Um, this is my the baby of the family, my youngest, um, Clelia. And she was there, for, you know, she checked herself in and I was allowed to see her an hour a day. And it was up to her and her doctors when she would come out. On the following morning, my husband was going for a motorcycle ride with a friend and hit a patch of loose gravel on a, a road that had just been freshly tarred and chipped, which is sort of like paving, but the cheap version, it's a kind of a country back road. Um, the only signage on the road that it had been done was that there were no pavement markings. He hit a patch of loose gravel, went off the road, and um, his locomotion was stopped by a tree stump, and he ended up with a broken left shoulder um, requiring total immobilization of that arm, a shattered right wrist uh, which required surgery, plates and screws to put it back together which will take about two months of, of immobilization, a broken right ankle, um, some broken fingers, some badly bruised ribs, and a pretty significant concussion. He was in the hospital in the ICU for three days on the fourth day, I believe. Maybe it was, I, I don't remember. It's all kind of a blur. Um, I got to bring him home. Each day I've been, I had been driving back and forth to the two hospitals, which were about an hour apart, as well as trying to get home to check in on my other daughter um, to make sure that she got to visit her dad and her sister and to make sure she was fed and that the house wasn't falling apart. Um, Yesterday, I think it was, um, my youngest came home, my husband is home, and we're working on establishing a new normal around here. Because my husband only has use of basically two fingers from his upper body, it's basically requiring almost constant care, um, dressing him, feeding him. I mean, well, he can hold a fork as long as food is already cut for him, bathing, hygiene, you can use your imagination to... Uh, to think about what all the, the nursing care that is being required right now. I'm also trying to make sure I spend a lot of time with both of my daughters. Um, and the goal is to find some time to take care of me too. Um, so what this means for you guys is I'm going to continue to try and make videos. As of right now, I've only been doing bare bones care of the fish room and the greenhouse and the tubs every few days I walk around and make sure that there's no catastrophes but you know I'm usually up by about 5 a.m. taking care of him um, and his needs and then go to bed like around 10 and wake up every four hours for pain management and to help him move to a more comfortable position in bed um, so it's just made it really really difficult for me to invest any thought or physical energy on anything fish related right now. I mean, I'm sure you guys remember correctly that my husband's been the one that's been doing my water changes for the most part and taking care of my fish on a daily basis and I've only been able to get down there a few times a week because of my knee complications. Uh, but I think we can say that the the, <laughs> the recovery period, all, although very shortened, uh, is over as I take care of my family right now. Um, I do hope to get to spend some time down there with my daughters, getting them to help me, and maybe we can make some videos of that. Uh, it's going to be a, a minimum of two months before he has use of his arms at all, so the, obviously the fish room rebuild has to be put on hold until he's well enough. Um, so who knows, that might have to wait until 
I, I don't even know, maybe winter. Um, so right now, you know, things are pretty stressful. Um, did never intend to be out of work this long. I was hoping when I stopped in December it would be a matter of a month or two. And now it's looking more like it's going to be almost a year that I'm not working, which financially is kind of challenging. Um, and now he's out of work too. Now he gets disability, which will, you know, keep the bills on the house paid. But it's going to be a difficult time. So uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's the easiest way for me to sort of snap quick pictures and show updates of what's going on with the various critters as I get to manage them. Um, again, I'm hoping that in this next week or so, I'll be able to establish sort of a rhythm of the household and maintaining the yard and the pool and the kids' activities and my husband's care in order to find some time to really spend some good time down in the fish room and out at the greenhouse um, and to be able to give you guys some real, real updates. Um, so if there's anything in particular that you guys have missed seeing, you know, a particular tank or a particular project I've done, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and make those a priority as I get back into the swing of things here. Um, I'm really hoping to to get my schedule back on track, but I'm going to have to take it day by day. Um, I, I'm really struggling physically trying to do all this and adding in extra videos. Just, I'm, I'm going to have to see how I do. Um, I did want to say thank you. There's been so many people that have been reaching out and offering their well wishes. Um, um, a lot of local people have helped out get, bringing us groceries or helping me get my, my older daughter to her practices. Um, people have been sending money, which has been really nice because I, uh, with two broken arms, um, none of the clothing in the household would fit on my husband and he can't manage snaps and stuff like that. Um, so it's been easier to, we basically had to replace his entire wardrobe. Um, just for stuff that he can wear until his arms work again. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been, it, is, it is what it is. Uh, this too shall pass, but it's just a really, really difficult time in my life right now and, and for my family. Um, if you guys have been around for a while, you know how close, close our family is and we spend a ton of time together already and, and just uh, all this stuff at once is going to take a lot of energy. Um, so thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for the words of support. Thank you for the donations. Uh, thank you for caring. And I'm going to do my best to make sure that, you know, I give the love back by when I'm working in the greenhouse and the fish room and stuff that I, I share it with you guys. Um, so again, thanks.